So hello there, today I want to tell you about a sad thing that happened to me and sometimes people when they make mistakes or something doesn't work well they just don't tell it. <laughs> yeah that's normal because uh, everybody if a mistake is happening and something doesn't go well um, sometimes you feel ashamed and don't want to tell the others but you know that everything we do we can learn from mistakes and if we keep uh, telling each other about the mistakes we do and the problems we had so um, I think um, anybody can uh, come a step forward on his own way to try to find out the best way let's uh, say we are not only talking about beetle breeding but that's I think the case for a lot of things in our life but now I'm telling only about beetle breeding because that's the, the topic here so I what did I do I today I, I, I thought let's check the Dynastus Neptunus because I changed the substrate for them into 22 liter coffee that you see here in the back I changed it um, in August that means we are five months later now and at this time I presented to them nice white rotten uh, wood pieces like this also if you go back you can see that I presented them on the bottom some dried uh, beech wood pellets just to dry up the substrate a little bit but this as I find, found out wasn't enough because a lot of the uh, most of the purple chambers they try to build they collapse not only because of the wet substrate but also I think because of the warmth in the substrate not only this uh, red compost warmth but also this grey warmth I think they destroyed a lot of the purple chambers look here I have one say I say this one for you just to show what happens you see the grey warmth here and you see inside here that's a larva trying to build a purple uh, chamber now let's see it a little bit from more from closer here so that we can have a better uh, look an overview over the whole uh, setting so as you see the, the, the larva is making a perfect a cell but who is waiting outside here look this these are these gray worms here and here are already another one waiting a red one just very close to the chamber where the larva is trying to build a nice purple chamber but as soon as it pupates um, it will happen that the worms can uh, make a hole into this uh, into this outer uh, shell of the pupal chamber and then it will collapse and then the pupa will be covered or will be covered with uh, with earth and that's the moment when the pupa will die and cannot uh, she cannot um, close for not even uh, they 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 not even managed to a uh, close to pupa here from the last larval skin or if it's even worse they pupate inside of this chamber but later um, while they de develop inside of this uh, pupal skin the pupal chamber collapses and then they cannot press anymore and they die inside inside a piece of earthy material so that's a really bad thing and um, next time I will try to m make a better substrate just uh, without any worms. I try to do that here in this very big um, refrigerator where I normally put all the boxes in for three to four days so that everything except the microorganism uh, die and, and this time I didn't pay that much attention 
and that's a fail on other you can see. But it's not only very bad things that I want to uh, tell you now, but also we see some uh, pupils that have survived, but I will have to prepare them now. New pupil uh, chambers here. Now look at, for example, this one here. This is pretty nice. It's a living, a nice and living pupa. Let's see whether we can show it to you here. Yeah, this is a living pupa of a female. So I will present to her these peat pots as I always do. And I will not make it too wet now because I say and then I put I put the, this artificial pool old chamber into kind of sand. Now look here's another one. This is from a male but I'm not sure whether it lives because it was already covered with uh, earthy material and then I tried to clean it in the water but I think it's I don't see a sign that it's living but all the same I will try to just make the best I can I also prepare this kind of a small smaller fruitful chamber to this animal also also try to put it in here so if it lives Also this one, it's also from a female. I don't think that it's still living so, but I try anyway to make, yeah, they're still living, it's moving. So I also try to present a poop chamber to this lady here. And I have some more, look. But here, for example, this one also. They are big, you know, and they are, and, uh, he and heavy also. And also for this hoopla, I will prepare a nice artificial tender. And I hope very much that they can survive. I have only one male now and around five females also down here. I have another one inside of this box here. So also this one. I had to clean this one also because it was uh, completely covered with earthy material so I also place it in a big pot and I think that's it and also here I have another one so I have a many of them as poopas now and I have to take um, care of them very much so that uh, I don't miss them when they when they come out. Come out one of them already. This is also one I wanna put it in here. I also found one female that uh, managed to. It managed to a close, but she is not yet finished. Look at her here. So you can see the lady here. She will uh, have, need some more time to finish her eclosion, uh, closure process. So I will put her back into this chamber here. And there's another one in here. And what do we do with this nice uh, big larva here? We have to build an artificial pupil cell for it too, uh, because otherwise it cannot uh, 
it will leave it just in this kind of material. There will be too many of these uh, grey worms already waiting to destroy her pupal chamber. And when the, the larva is dying, of course, uh, they will eat all the, all the things that she leaves behind. So that's it for the moment. I hope I can tell you something better in about uh, two months when we see whether they uh, manage to survive. I hope you do it better. Thanks for watching.